Today we're going to be making one of these Megalodon shark tooth hitch safes for your truck. A lockable safe you can store stuff in when you're not in the vehicle. Okay, so first you're going to find a measure your hitch to see which one you need. If it's a two inch hitch like mine is, you'll need two inch steel. You don't have to go with a heavy gauge steel. Just something like this is fine. Stick it in, measure out what you need, and the hole where you need the hole. The hole, you can, there are 5 eighths pins, but you can go maybe 11 sixteenths so, that, so it's a little bit easier to get the pin in and out. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to uh, take a magic marker and draw a couple lines and and cut out this section with a grinder and then cut this off with a grinder. So basically it'll look like this. The hole in the top will be where you store stuff. Okay, then you want to uh, take it and countersink three holes in here and cut a couple blocks like this so the blocks can go fit inside the hole. And you want to take your Megalodon shark tooth. This one happens to be a replica. It's plastic or a resin. And you want to drill holes in it. Drill holes in the block and then drill some holes in your tooth. Okay? What you want to do after that is take, I use Gorilla Glue. You can use whatever glue you like. But the Gorilla Glue seems to hold up pretty good. So we're going to get that going. Goes on like that. So we're just going to smear a little bit of uh, a little bit on here and not not too much because it'll run and drip so uh you want to do that You can put your screws in so they're just about coming out. Pick up your tooth and put it in. And that's about how you want it. Once that's secured, And take your hitch, slide it in, then I used a uh, half inch, half inch screws to secure it. Now these 
screws on the side, they're countersunk. The holes on the side are countersunk. So that when it, when it goes in, it's flush. And it doesn't interfere with, uh, with sliding it into your uh, receiver. Okay, there you have it. You're done. Just add your your locking uh, locking pin, which you can pick up at Walmart or any hitch place, and uh, and you can lock your keys and lock whatever you need to lock in there. And this way, you have a little key that you're taking to the beach, and not your key fob. That's going to get all soaking wet. There you have it. And you can you can use, uh, make other ones too if you wanted to make a little different. Okay? Thanks for watching.